24-year-old Christian Bowers had many friends in high school, but he graduated five years ago. And ever since, it's been hard to find good friends. He was starting to show some signs of depression and um, just constantly asking, you know, where his friends are, why doesn't anybody want to come over and spend time with him. We would go to Walmart or the store and he would like invite half the store to come home with us and play video games with us. And of course, nobody would. And, um, you know, he just doesn't understand why. His mom, Donna Herter, didn't know where to turn. So she posted on Facebook. I just basically said that I was looking for some a young man between the ages of 20 and 28, local. I told him that I'd pay him $80 uh, for two hours to basically just hang out and play video games with him. That's all he really wants is just a guy friend to do guy stuff with. Herder is a nurse working the overnight shift. She sent the post at 4 a.m. And when she woke up the next day, it had about 5,000 comments. I was freaking out. Um, <clears throat> my hands were shaking. I was sweating. I was just looking for some local guys. I didn't want like to invite the entire world into our house and was going to delete it. But then when I was talking to one of my friends, she was like, well, Donna, wait, you can't delete it. You know, go through and read the comments. When she looked at the replies, she saw parents offering suggestions, others volunteering to help, and parents of children with special needs asking for advice themselves. If their kids are like Christian, Christian craves a friendship um, with somebody who's neurotypical. He doesn't want to only hang out with somebody with special needs. And I've never asked him, but I assume it's because it kind of makes him feel normal just for an hour or two, you know? Hey, somebody who doesn't have Down syndrome wants to hang out with me. After interviewing a few local guys in Minnesota, Donna narrowed it down to seven, who now visit Christian once a week on a rotating schedule. He, every night, goes to bed uh, with a smile on his face. He tells everybody uh, about his new friends. He gets so excited talking about life now and everything he's doing. But I still think the one thing he loves the most is that one-on-one, -on -one, just that guy coming over. Um, yesterday was his day for someone to come over, so a guy came over and they play video games, and that is honestly what he loves the most out of everything. Donna hopes their story inspires others to form friendships, because you never know how much it means to someone. Everybody needs a friend. I thought about it one day. I just sat there and I was like, what if I had zero friends? What if I had literally not one single person to call, to talk to, to hang out, to have lunch with? And man, it just really hit me thinking about that, um, how lonely that would be, knowing that there's so many people out there that are wanting that relationship or wanting a friend. Uh, I really hope that people reach out in their community and um, you know, find out where those people are, how to get a hold of them, how to hang out with them. <laughs>